Plug the charger. If you notice that the tablet has a response to the charger, but charging is not normal. Remove the charger. Disassemble the display. Disconnect the battery flex cable. Connect the power flex cable to test. The reading of the amp on the power supply whip immediately high, which is not normal. Remove the power flex cable. The common cause of this problem is charging IC, but we must be sure. Disconnect the display flex cable. Disconnect the touch flex cable. Remove the cameras. Remove the screws with a screwdriver. Take out the motherboard. Measure the VBAT line of the motherboard with the diode mode of the multimeter. The VBAT line of the motherboard is normal. Next, let's check the charging part of the motherboard. Measure the capacitors around the charging IC with diode mode of the multimeter. There are some capacitors connected to the charging IC with low reading, but we cannot yet say that it is a fault. We will use a rosin pen to find out if there are parts that are heating up. Smoke the charging part of the motherboard. Connect the power flex cable. If you notice the appearance of the charging IC was changed when the power flex cable was connected. Remove the power flex cable. Cover the connector with heat resistant tape. Heat the charging IC with hot air gun at 400 degrees Celsius and airflow 60. Remove the charging IC. Put some paste flux. Clean the bonding pad with a soldering iron and solder wick. Clean with PCB cleaner. Put some paste flux again. Place a new charging IC into the right position. Solder with hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 50.
Clean with PCB cleaner. Remove the heat resistant tape. Measure the capacitors around the charging IC again. The value of the capacitors returns to normal. Connect the power flex cable to test. The power supply reading is now normal. Remove the power flex cable. Assemble the motherboard. Connect the home flex cable. Connect the display and touch flex cables. Install the cameras. Screw the motherboard. Connect the battery flex cable. Plug the charger. The tablet is normally charged. Power on the tablet. Samsung Galaxy Tab E not charging problem has been successfully repaired.